This right here is the sciatic nerve, as well as you have a node down here. So we're gonna remove this whole sciatic nerve, as well as that node. Down, this node's gonna be right down here towards the shank. So we don't wanna cut that. So just make a little incision so you can get your finger in there. And then you're just gonna remove that node completely. Okay. You have a little bit of the sciatic nerve is gonna run up here. We don't worry about that till later. If you look at the top of the leg, so here's the hip, here's the shank, there's this bone here, and there's a bone here where the two junctions meet, your hinges, your hinge joints. We're gonna cut right here to remove this one. So you're gonna cut in, and then kind of at an angle, all the way down to you're gonna hit that femur bone. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come right in here along this stake, and we're gonna remove this stake by following the bone. And then right here where that knuckle is that I told you, again, we're following those white lines. We're gonna make a small little cut here as well, all the way down to that bone. And all we're gonna do is continue to follow that bone around, getting as much of that meat off this primary bone as we can. If you were to flip it over, see this white line right here? A lot of guys will try to cut this line. This whole roast actually goes all the way down when it touches this, this bottom, this sirloin. So come right in there. This is gonna take you all the way down to that same femur bone that we're working on. It's gonna make it a nice clean cut. You're not struggling, you're not trying to find anything. back over and we'll work on following this around. If I remove some of this you'll be able to see a little bit better. See how this wraps around right here? We're going to kind of go in there and finish that off. That's that steak removal. There's a little cap right here. Just use your fingers to kind of pull that cap off. Don't throw this away. You can cut and trim all that and that can all go into your ground. And now we have that football roast or that ball roast. A lot of guys will sit there and say, and again, that's gonna sit right there, and then you just remove it perfectly and easily.